shaking. Whole lot of shaking going on. Oh, I'm sorry. We're rolling, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't help myself because we're in Houston, Texas, where there's going to be a whole lot of shaking going on. Come on, let's go to the Terracon site. Tell me what's going on here today. Well, this weekend we're participating in the demolition of the building you see behind me. So Terracon's going to blow up a building? No, Bob. Sorry. We're not going to get to blow one up today. What we're actually doing is uh, documenting the demolition event for some of the surrounding properties. Hopefully everything goes well this weekend. However, if it doesn't, we'll be the last line of defense for our clients. So how do you do all this documentation? How we actually do it is deploying vibration monitoring units adjacent to the buildings. And these units detect ground vibrations and record them so that we can take that data later, compare it to a known set of standards, turn around and tell our clients how severe those vibrations actually were. So I guess then you just get some kind of data printout. No, Bob, we actually do a whole lot more than that. We assess the condition of the buildings prior to the demolition and after. This provides a reliable record for our clients that they can use to prove insurance claims, litigation, you name it. This sounds like a big project. Oh, you bet, Bob. You know, we start weeks before the actual event by coordinating with our client and the demolition contractor. We spent the entire last week checking, rechecking, and re-rechecking our equipment. Safety's got to be really important on a job like this. Tell me about that. Absolutely, Bob. We take our people's safety first and foremost uh, before we really start worrying about what we're going to do. We're worrying about how we're going to do it and how we're going to do it safely. So every action that we take out here has been planned out ahead of time. We've identified the potential hazards that may take place. We identify the steps we're going to use to mitigate those hazards. So what time do we get started tomorrow? 1.30. Tomorrow afternoon? No, sir. We're going to start operations tomorrow about 1.30 in the morning. Buildings down, now what do we do? Well, Bob, we send in one of our trained environmental personnel. They'll go in and uh, special PPE appropriate for a potentially hazardous post-demolition environment. They'll go to each of our vibration monitoring units. They'll pull the data handling unit. They'll bring it back. We'll take the data from that, analyze it, compare it to a known vibration monitoring standard, and we'll be able to explain to them, is this data significant or not? With all of this, what makes Terracon the best choice for vibration monitoring? Attention to detail and consistency. We know that when we come out here on a demolition job that we've got one shot and one shot only. When that building comes down, all of our equipment has to work right the first time, every time. No excuses. There you have it. If you want vibration monitoring done the best and safest way possible, it's time to call the folks at Terracon. For any project, big or small, routine or complex, Terracon will be your responsive, resourceful, and reliable partner.